Priya, I'm going to make you my parmesan souffle. It's really easy to make and you can use just about any cheese. But I love the parmesan cheese because it's got that real bite to it. But to get started, we need to put some butter in the pan. So I've got some butter here, about 90 grams of butter to start with. And look at this, this is fantastic butter. Look at that. loves his butter. Butter goes in there. And yes. what, what I'm going to do is just melt that butter and make a, a roux or a bechamel sauce to start with. So I want you to measure up 500 okay. mils of milk straight into there. I have a job. This is exciting. Oh, yeah, we've we, we got to do it. She's in. We've got to do it together. It's like it's holding problem. hands together as we cook this lovely souffle. Now you can see this is starting to bubble yes, away. Yes. And that's what you want. You want to melt that butter till it starts to sizzle. Now the tip with this is we've got 90 grams of butter in here. We want to have the same amount of plain flour. So about 90 grams of that goes in there as well. Now I'm sort of going to measure it, about a quarter of a cup. And I'll put a little bit extra because I want it a little bit thicker. What do you think? So does it have to be butter? As the base, could you do something else like oil? You can use oil, but butter makes everything taste so he was delicious. Say that. I knew he was going to say that. You can see I stir this around. Yes. And see, this is what we call a roux. And this is the okay. thickening part of it. That's just about cooked out there. And then we start adding the milk to it. If you want to grab the milk yes. and start pouring that in while I stir it. Now, I'm a chef, so I like to make my bechamel sauce with do a wooden you want spoon. It all in? In about slowly. a second, slowly. You're like my mum, he wants me to add it slowly. Yep. Your mum's a great cook. Yeah. See, see how it comes up to a big yeah. lump? Like that, that's what you want. So add the rest of it okay, in, or beautiful. nice and slowly. There we go, about that much there. And you mix that milk in. So at this stage here, you sort of use the back of the spoon against the side of the pot, and that mashes down all those bits. This is probably what you would call sometimes food, you know, once a week, something like that. You know me well. Exactly. I'll just stir that around. And you can see it's starting to come together. Yes. It's almost cooked all the way through. I add just a little pinch of salt to that. Yes. And then stir that around so it's seasoned up beautifully. And we'll pop it over there to cool down a little bit. Now, eggs. I want you to crack the eggs, uh, the egg whites into this bowl and the yolks into there. We want to separate the egg whites from the yolks so we can fluff up the souffle. I just crack it on the bottom here and you can use your hands if you want and just strain it through there like that and Beautiful. easy to do. He's yolks done the one-handed crack. He's raised the bar. <laughs> I see what's happening here. There we go. And these are good free-range eggs. They're beautiful Australian eggs. Great source of protein, great iron, really versatile. So you can eat these for breakfast, lunch, dinner. We eat a lot of eggs in our house and for all sorts of meals. So eggs are great. Not just for fried eggs in the morning. No, correct. Okay. Beautiful. OK, Priya, that's perfect. I'm going to whisk up these egg whites. And while I'm whisking up these egg whites, we've got our souffle dish here, a nice big souffle dish. We've got our spray oil. I want you to spray that. And then dust the inside of that souffle dish with that grated parmesan over there. That way we get lots of cheese flavour on the outside and it stops the souffle from sticking as it rises. Ah. You like that, don't you? No, I didn't know that. OK. Now, whisking the egg whites with a whisk like this, or you can use a hand blender or a Maggi mix, whatever you want to use, until it's nice and fluffy, very much like me. I'm fluffy, <laughs> aren't I? Look at that. That looks fantastic. OK, I'll pop that down here. And if you can pop the souffle dish down here and I'll bring in the mixture that's cooled down a little bit. And all I need to do is just add the yolks straight in there like that, make sure I get them all in there, and then fold them through. Now, that President Brie there, if you can cut a quarter of that for me, yes. break it up and we'll throw it straight in here so it's ready to go. Have a look at that. It looks fantastic. So cheese. Well, we love cheese. Yeah, I love cheese. Love I cheese. love cheese. I'm excited about this. Go. You just want me to break this in. Break that in there. Put that parmesan goes in there, about a quarter of a cup, a quarter of a brie. You can put more in there if you want, but that goes in there. And that will melt and have these chunks of gooey cheese all the way through. And this will be fantastic. You're liking this, aren't you? I am. I'm actually looking at it going, this looks absolutely delicious. It's the simplest thing to put together. Now, I'll give that a bit of a tap like this. Now, the best way to add this is add about a third of it straight into the mixture. And that sort of slackens the mixture off so it's nice and thin. So this is folding, so you want to make sure you fold it nice and evenly to get all that egg white mixed in beautifully. Now we've got that all settled down, straight in. into the bowl here. Now that cheese over there, if you want to put that on More. top for me. Yep. More cheese. Load it on. It's a cheese souffle, Priya. Cheese. Sprinkle? Go nuts. Oh. Use it like you stole it. There we go. In it goes. Now I'm going to grab this, pop it into the oven, 200 degrees Celsius, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. It'll puff up, golden on top again, and it'll be cheesy and delicious. Priya, what do you think of that? This smells delicious. 
Now this is a big souffle. Normally you would serve up, you know, a couple of small ones, but I'm just gonna pop that on the plate there. You can see that's all nice and gooey. And I mean, if you serve it as a single dish, it looks fantastic. But when you serve it on a plate like this, I think it looks great. Salad on the side. I like the salad. There's some, something green, I like it. I'll dress that. You've, you've put a beautiful dressing on there. A simple dressing, lemon juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it. And a bit of lettuce on there. That's a great little snack, isn't it? Have a look at that, Priya. This smells delicious. Tuck in and tell me okay. what you think. Nice and light and fluffy, easy to put together. You can use parmesan or any other cheese you got lying around in the fridge that's scruffy. What do you My think? My face is like, it's so delicious. Oh. That could be quite a light dinner. And if you've got yeah. salad on the side. Or some vegetables. <laughs> yeah, correct. Fluffy vegetables, don't you? That is beautiful, though. Thank you very much.